and I was originally gonna play with my brother, but he is still like downloading it or something like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and head out. right here but I just came back from the store it is my Saturday which means that today I really just spent the time relaxing enjoying myself I went out to go get a couple things and I saw a lot of cute stuff I went to Burlington in the last video I told you guys that I was trying to build a PC or just have a PC gaming setup and so that's what I did I wanted to show you guys it since I am not finished but I have a lot of it done and I'm now finally playing it so I'm about to show you and here it is So all the specs will be in the description box and I know my PC is turned the opposite way but that's really just because my brother built my desk and he put this shelf on this side and I have yet to unscrew it mainly because it's a little tight so I'm a, I might have him unscrew it for me because I honestly couldn't get it unscrewed but I need it to go on this side so this is a temporary setup this PC I gotta wipe it because when I was putting it together, I was me and my brother was touching on it and stuff. It's a pre-build. I, I had it custom built. So I picked out everything that's in here, the GPU, CPU, all of that. I picked it out, but I did have it built for me because I didn't feel comfortable building it on my own. I could have, but I didn't want to. So I did purchase it from NZXT. I'll leave the specs down in the description box. I have yet to make my keyboard wireless. I have the option to do it, but just don't know how to do it yet. I got this monitor ring light from Target, but um, pretty much everything else I got from Amazon. So this keyboard, the mouse, the mouse pad, and the monitor I got from Amazon. I also have this cell phone slash tablet holder from Amazon and even these candies. This Galaxy projector I got from Target, which is what has everything all starry and I think that's pretty cute. I do plan on having some string lights, or not string lights, but strip lights behind my monitor, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Then over here, I have these book, I forgot what this is called, but pretty much like the book holder or something like that. <laughs> what is this called? I'll write it on the screen. But I got this from Amazon as well. I got these two candles from TJ Maxx. I got this base from TJ Maxx. I got these coasters from Amazon. And I have this nice water bottle from TJ Maxx as well. The desk I got from Amazon. And it's a nice affordable desk. And I love that it's L-shaped. 
and I got the chair from Amazon as well and in this throw I forgot where I got it from it's been a minute but I want to say it's from Marshall and then I just got the little squishy I think this is so cute I got that from Target over here to the side I do have these headphones and these are from Amazon too and they're nice they actually come with kitten ears but I didn't put them on there because I'm not a cat fan so this right here is a pegboard I need a drill but I plan on putting the pegboard up here and then I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna put posters up there or something but I plan on making it a little bit brighter it's summertime which means we have no room to smell anything but good and so i am so happy to be partnered with scentbird because they sent me three beautiful perfumes and you guys know i love perfumes so this was right on brand scentbird is a perfume subscription service where you're able to save some good money by receiving smaller bottles instead of paying full price on the larger bottles which i would recommend anyway because you never know how a perfume is going to work with your chemistry they come in these nice sleek bottles and i really appreciate how much perfume goes in each bottle they do not skimp out but my favorite part is the perfume cases they're interchangeable and they come in beautiful colors and they're also magnetic which I think is pretty cool too I have pink green and orange of the three scents that Scentbird sent me Wow, that was a tongue twister. My absolute favorite is the Michelle Germain Sexual Secret. The notes are red mandarin, pink mango, lotus flower, white musk, and cashmere wood. And it smells really fresh. I would probably wear it to the mall. That's where I picture myself with it on. My second favorite is the Sisley Le Reve. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. The notes are bergamot, violet leaf, tuberose, cedarwood, and amber. Side note, I also like that you receive these perfume cards where it tells you the notes that goes into each perfume. I just like the way they look because I would put these on display. They offer all types of brands like Tom Ford, Gucci, Miu Miu, Burberry. I mean, the list goes on. So if you guys are interested in Scentbird, you can use the code NISHA for 55% off, which is about $7 a little bit more than seven dollars for your first month it'll be linked in the description box below and i do want to say thank you to scentbird for partnering with me on today's video Okay, so I was gonna play Call of Duty, but I realized I don't know what I'm doing. And I was originally gonna play with my brother, but he is still like downloading it or something like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and head out because I don't know what the heck I'm doing anymore. I remember I used to be able to play back in the day. Like I think I was playing Modern Warfare 3 with my dad and um it's been a while so i don't really know all the specs i don't know what i'm supposed to be clicking on and it looks like i was trying to get into a session with people but then i don't think anybody's playing this version of this game right now so anywho i'm about to play sims because that's what i know for the longest of time i told myself that i wasn't going to get back into gaming because i mean i've never been a huge gamer person but ever since i was a little girl i played the sims game and one of my best memories growing up was spending time either watching my dad play his video games or playing with him so we used to at some point play call of duty or mortal kombat um he had the mortal kombat versus dc universe game and um i would play all types of things and then also of course i would watch him and he would play 2k even now like as a 26 year old when i would go to his house there would be moments where nine times out of ten we're either hanging out or i'm watching him play 
his game. So I just got used to it. And so, but for me in my 20s, especially my earlier 20s, I was reluctant to get into gaming because while I enjoy it, it does take a lot of time out of my day, especially if I'm like really into it. Um, and that was scary for me because I told myself, if you're going to commit to playing video games, then you're gonna waste a lot of time. And these are the times or this time in your life is too precious for you to throw it away, essentially. So I was sort of like disciplining myself and saying, I'm not going to go and um, create hobbies that take up too much time. But I'm 26 now and I've been wanting to have a gaming setup for years and I really do mean years. I've been playing the Sims game here and there um, on my laptop, but you guys know that I edit on that laptop so I went ahead and just decided to um, create this little space. And I'm so happy because now I get to get into a few other games, like for example, Call of Duty. Another game I used to play all the time, I used to play with my mom's side of the family, is Left 4 Dead, especially Left 4 Dead 2. Um, that game has a large, large, portion of my childhood enwrapped in it or better yet it's enwrapped in a large portion of my childhood um we used to play all the time i mean it was obnoxious how much we used to play this game and even if i wasn't playing video games i was watching gameplays because i mean i guess it's a comfort thing now because i used to watch my dad play video games all the time so you know it'd be moments where i just put on gameplays um <laughs> so I never played The Last of Us, but I watched it. I watched both of them. And then my dad, I think my dad wanted me to be a gamer too, because I was technically the only child because I was his only child. And so, you know, I, I had like a Game Boy Advance. I had a GameCube. I had a PlayStation 2. I had a PSP. What else? I had all the games, child. I had everything. And I used to play video games a lot. Oh, I had a Nintendo DS, a Nintendo 3DS. Um, I had a Nintendo XL, I think. Child, I had some of everything. Uh, did I say Game Boy Advance? <laughs> Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. church late for multiple reasons but honestly I don't like going into any establishment late because I don't like the idea of walking in when everybody else is already in there like I don't know it just gives me anxiety uh oh did I break it or is there no more oh, no. okay uh I gotta back up I need to get my eyebrows done so bad. Oh, my bathroom is messy right now because I have everything just sprawled out on the counter. And I always do this. This is my problem. I always wait last minute to get dressed when I'm used to going to the place. Like if it's a new place, I'm gonna get dressed two hours before it's time for me to get dressed. But 
I go to church, so I'd be like, well, I can wait a little while and then get dressed at this time, but it's always pushing it. And just like right now, I am pushing it. I have never used this product before, so I don't know how it's gonna look, but my eyebrows are so bushy right now, it really doesn't matter because it's not going to be defined at all. Oh, I actually like this better than the other product. The product I was using is funny enough from Bali. I bought it at the pharmacy out there. Um, and I don't know the brand. I'm not familiar with that brand in the US. So I guess I've been using a totally different brand. Anyways. I think I'm gonna do a quick concealer. I do this all the time and I've been using this one particular concealer for years. So, one thing I don't like is Fenty, when they first launched, they launched a lot of products that they don't any longer use or have. And so the product that I've been using for years that I've grown accustomed to, um they don't have any more um and that's this it's a matchstick in the color caramel they don't have it anymore so when i run out i'm gonna have to find something that matches that skin tone or this color because if i'm honest i use this color whether i'm in the summertime or in the winter for some reason it just matches my skin regardless like it's don't get me wrong I don't use a heavy amount, but you don't have to with creams. And I just need it for under my eyes sometimes just to give me a more even tone because sometimes I can have a, a darker circle. And then also near my lips because I feel like everybody has a like darker cast around their lips. It's not needed, of course, but it's it's a nice extra step and the beauty about cream foundations and concealers for me is that it melts into my skin better i cannot use liquid for the life of me every time i do it either creases or it just looks ashy or like cakey i don't know if it's if if it's that i'm not using primer or the right primer who knows where is And then I'm gonna just put this here. I've been trying a technique that I haven't done up until like a couple weeks ago where instead of doing a straight line like this for my contour, I've been doing like a half rainbow. And it actually looks nice. I like it better than the straight line because I think it goes with my face shape a little bit better. And I'm not wearing much concealer like yesterday so this powder is just gonna have to do um and then i'm gonna put on a little bit of what else am i gonna do oh oops i'm dropping stuff my goodness and then i've been using this same highlighter forever it's the mean money and hustler baby by Fenty Beauty. I use this for a Maybelline highlighter, but I like this one when I'm trying to be a little more subtle because it's a champagne color versus, see, oh. <laughs> versus um, the plain gold that I used to use or that I use sometimes. And I sometimes like to put it right here in the middle of my eye. This is like the a rush of a job. And I technically be doing something different every time I decide to put on makeup. Sometimes I only put powder. Sometimes I put a little bit of concealer. Sometimes I put two concealers. Sometimes I set my makeup. Sometimes I don't. Today, I am not setting my concealer. Where is my lip And I think I'm pretty much done. And this is my e.l.f. lip gloss. They don't sell this in the stores. At least I haven't seen it in the stores. So I order it online because it's my favorite lip gloss. I have like eight of them. 
just waiting on standby. I bought this like three years ago and I've been using it ever since. It's a little bit like menthol -y, but it's not nearly as like strong as some of the higher end brands, but it's enough to sort of like straighten your lips out or like even the lines. Cause you know, sometimes depending on whatever lips you got, sometimes your lips have a little bit of creasing in it. And so I like a menthol lip gloss. Now as for my hair, I have no idea what the heck I'm about to do to it. start out doing something to my edges because my edges need some TLC. <sighs> and I really need to hurry up, so. And I picked out an outfit, but I don't know if it's gonna look cute on. I just like grabbed it from out my closet but the thing is is it's a button-up shirt and I remember trying this button-up shirt on a couple weeks ago and I didn't like it because it was just like the wrong texture or something and so I don't know if it's gonna work this time I guess I'm gonna just figure it out but hopefully it works because that's the only outfit I had planned. I gotta do laundry. And I should have tried it on before I decided I was gonna wear it. Okay, real quick before I leave, don't mind the mess in the back, but this is the shirt I was talking about. I have it tucked in the front, a little loose in the back. Some jeans, they're skinny with a little bit of fray at the bottom. And then I have these shoes that I got from TJ Maxx. I think they're so cute. And then I just have my coach purse. And that's the look. And then my nails are pink too. And my glasses, so I think that's so cute. I'm on my way to church. It looks like it's about to rain. And I hope it doesn't rain before I get back home. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I'm wearing my pink sandals and it's gonna feel so uncomfortable if my feet end up wet. <laughs> I also feel like I need to go grocery shopping, but I might just order my groceries because I really wanna spend the rest of Sunday chilling because when it's the work week, I don't be having the time. I hope this video, if anything, encourages you guys, if you aren't already, to decide to spend time on your hobbies. I've been talking about this since I was in Bali, but now that I'm home and I set up, you know, my gaming setup and I've been reading more books and I've just been um, enjoying my weekends a little bit more. Also, I've been going out too. I've been going out a lot more as well, but I, I had to make that decision to do that. So I encourage if there's anybody out there that hasn't really thought enough about what hobbies they want to commit to, or if they have any time, what they would like to do on the side that doesn't involve mindless things like watching shows, things like that. I wanna encourage you, get into some hobbies, where you have to do a little bit more than just watch a show. I think you would benefit greatly from it. Also, I don't know if I said this or not, but I am definitely, mark my words, gonna get a motorcycle. Give me like a year, I'm getting a motorcycle. I already spoke with my daddy on it. <laughs> Cause I knew if I got one, he would just freak out. Or technically if I hadn't said anything, I don't know. Sometimes I can never tell. Cause you know dads, they can sometimes be overprotective. Obviously I'm grown, but you know, I just want to make sure he good. Um, but he's so excited that I even want a motorcycle that I think we're both gonna get one and then we'll be able to um, ride them. He, he has these ideas of what we'll do, but I'm really excited because prior to going to Bali, I had no intentions, no interest in motorcycles, but once I got out there and most of the transportation I used was those little scooters and being on the back of the bikes with, you know, the people that would pick us up, similar to how we have Uber out here, but they had like Gojek and Grab out there. They would pick us up on those bikes and I would be on the back of them and it would just be the highlight of my day every single day. I got so excited and I 
always order the bite. It wouldn't matter if I was going to church out there or if I was going to a restaurant or going anywhere. It wouldn't matter. I always order the bike. So now that I'm back home, you know, I've been home for months. I just, I ha every time I see a motorcycle, I get jealous. I'm like, dang, I want one. And I saw this one girl with a motorcycle maybe like three, four weeks ago. And it was so cute. It was like orange with highlighter yellow. And her, um, Hit her uh, helmet was the same color and it just looks so nice. I'm like, dang, I'm gonna have to get me one of those. And I, I'm the type where it's like, I will wait to see if my interest, if my interest wanes or not. Because if, you know, after three months I decide, after three months I end up not being as interested, then I just won't buy it, right? But it's been like six months and I still, every time I see a motorcycle, I'm like, ooh, I want one. So, I mean, that just, that says enough right there. I'm definitely gonna have to get one. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Once again, as far as Scentbird goes, if you guys are interested, you can use the code NISHA for 55% off on your first month. And I do again wanna say thank you to Scentbird for partnering with me on today's video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.